Hi Libra, this is Jeffrey. This is Ripe Color. This is your reading for the week of May 9th through the 16th. I hope you're well. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. I'm offering 30 minute readings for $30 through the end of May. Um, I have a, uh, an astrology t-shirt fabulousness. <laughs> All the information is below. And it's May. Indeed. Let's see what the week has in store. Libra. Okay. This is really Okay, you know what the, the whole energy is the whole energy is whether you want to sit in a state of woe is me and isolation in physical or uh, social isolation or whether you want to move forward. It's as simple as that. This is um, self-imposed mental bondage, right? Uh, the craziness in your head, this isn't gonna work and I'm all, I, I can't even start this because that isn't complete and uh, it's never gonna be done and uh, I'm not good at anything and all that. It, it's like the, like the let the dogs out like the crazies the crazies the crazies and they don't stop okay so just be aware that that's kind of an energy but this was not put upon you this is you're allowing your monkey mind so to speak to get carried away and without putting any uh boundaries or without putting any you know stop signs or whatever okay and then you have a, like sort of a similar card, which is really about disappointment and grief. And it's also emotional because there's water here. So, you know, oh, what if, oh, you know, it, it's that whole energy of, um, I wish they weren't dead. Okay. Uh, you know, there's a way to look at else to say this sometimes it takes time don't get me wrong but this is about violin time okay i'm not saying don't have your feelings i'm saying have your feelings but move forward from them move forward from them because otherwise you're going to be lost you know it, it's like between these two cards it's like a decision to jump into the well it's a decision to jump into the well and to like stay there, not try to climb out, you know? And the longer you stay in the well, the muckier it's gonna get. And the more like yucky bugs and all kinds of, you know, slimy critters are just gonna crawl over your face. <laughs> so if that's where you're at, you need to make a decision to look up and see the sun and make an attempt to pull yourself out of the well. Because you have to pull yourself out of the well. How do you do that? By being part of a community, by offering what you do have to others, right? So sometimes when I'm feeling sorry for myself, the way for me to get out of it is to really reach out to somebody who's having a hard time with this or that or that or this and saying, can I listen to you? Can I help you? Can I spend time with you? Can I um, support you? You know, yeah, it could be money, but it's about more than money, right? It's about more than money. Um, you know, it's like sometimes, let's say I'm short, right? And a friend says, okay, I'll, I'll give you a hundred dollars, whatever it is. That's lovely. 
But for them to sit and have coffee with me and like listen and to hold my hand, sometimes is more valuable than the hundred dollars. See what I mean? So the way um, out of this um, mental turmoil, emotional turmoil, uh, feeling sorry for yourself, um, sitting in a state of remorse and of grief and of, cause I feel, it feels like there's no movement there. That's what it feels like. It feels like there's no movement there. There's this oh, of the past, oh, right? And it's like, okay, you could spend one day in bed under the covers and like not answer the phone and not look at the mail and not talk to anybody and feel sorry, but then you gotta get out of bed. Then you gotta get out of bed. Because what ends up happening is one day turns into two, tur two turns into a week. And then it gets harder and harder to get there. It's almost like the different, like if you leave one dish in the sink and it starts to go a little weird. Okay. So, you know, you really wash that one dish and you're done. But if you keep on letting the dishes pile up, you know, it comes to this place where it's like, you feel like, you know, not only does it attract critters, but uh, it, it's like, you might as well just throw the dishes away, <laughs> you know? It's like, oh, I'm never gonna get this, you know, this crust out of here. It's been here for like two months. It's part, it's part of the dish now. So I feel like you're there. I feel like you're there. And in order to get out of it, well, 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 you know, you have to like, step out of your ego and start serving others and, and, and be part of something bigger than you, right? Be part of something bigger than you. That's the way out, you know, is to, because once we communicate and once we, uh, what do you call it? I don't know what the word is. You know, once you gel with another person, once you, it's like, oh, I'm not alone. Oh, I'm not alone. Oh, right. Because in a lot of ways, this is both of these cards are really about being alone, you know. And uh, there are times to be alone, and there are times to feel your grief completely. But you know, there needs to be a uh, a limit, a limit. And the six is about perseverance, right? And you know, sometimes when I'm in a in a in a funk or in a mood feels like it's never gonna end, but everything ends. <laughs> everything changes, everything grows, everything dies, every, like that's just the way things are. You know, that that's constant. Nothing else is constant. Oh, oh I'm gonna be like this forever and ever. No, you're not. So um, the way through it is through serving others. The way through it is through being part of the community way through it is to give and receive. That is my take. Okay. Blessings. Oh, I wrote it down. I didn't even turn off the video. Ooh.